Clipping planes are a non-destructive way to see the inside of a model by cutting away part of the model without affecting the model itself. Since no booleans are used to cut the model, the effect is visual only. It should be noted that a clipping plane has an option to make the cut permanent by automatically cutting the model using booleans, if desired. In this video, you'll see how clipping planes can be moved and rotated live in the modeling window. You'll also see that you can save multiple clipping planes in your project and turn them on or off whenever you want. You can also make active as many clipping planes as desired and still model while these clipping planes are active. Let's see step by step how these clipping planes are created. We begin with a 3D model. To create a clipping plane, open the clipping plane palette located in the palette stock. Click on the new icon at the top of the palette and a new clipping plane is added to the palette and is active in the modeling window. The plane is automatically centered and positioned based on your current viewing position. To move the clipping plane live in the modeling window, just drag any one of the five yellow arrows. To snap the clipping plane to a specific location, click on the blue dot in the center. Then snap to the desired location on your model. Observe that the model is not clipped as you move. This allows you to accurately position the clipping plane to a visible part of the model. Click at the snapped location and the clipping plane is updated. If you want to rotate the clipping planes, simply drag the green or the red dots. Now let's look at the options in the clipping planes palette. Click on the first column to turn the clipping plane on or off. Note that you can have multiple clipping planes active at the same time. Click on the second column to turn the visibility on or off for the on-screen controls. This lets you see the effect of the clipping plane without the visible controls. The name of the clipping plane can be edited in a standard fashion by clicking once on the name, typing in your desired name such as, this is my clipping plane, and then hitting the return key. At the top of the palette are additional controls applied to the selected cutting plane. Click once in a blank area in the cutting planes palette to deselect a cutting plane. Click once on the name of a cutting plane to select the plane, which is now highlighted blue. Click on the flip button and the selected cutting plane is reversed. Click the play button and the selected plane animates back and forth through the scene. The animation path is determined by the overall boundary of your scene. And I'm confident that you can guess what the stop button does. Click on the Options button and the additional options are available for the selected cutting plane. Select the 2D option and the cutting plane is now a 2D cut through your model. Select the 2D option again to deselect this item and the cutting plane returns to a 3D cut. Another useful item is the ability to create a cutting plane parallel to your current view. For example, click on the first column to make the existing cutting plane inactive. Now, we'll spin our view to a new location. Next, we'll click on the Options button and choose the New Clipping Plane from View Item. Observe that the new clipping plane is created parallel to our current view. Another useful item is to make a permanent cut using our cutting plane. To do this, simply click on the cutting plane to select it, click on the Options button and choose the Make Permanent Cut Section option. Your model is now permanently cut using booleans based on the position of your selected cutting plane. Options are also available for a specific cutting plane by right-clicking on the cutting plane in the cutting plane's palette, or right-clicking on any visible control in the modeling window. It should be noted that the color of the clipping plane through your objects can be changed in the Appearance tab of the Project Settings dialog located in the File pull-down menu. Now that we have the basics of how the clipping planes work, let's look at some other ways that this tool can be used. When clipping planes are active, you can still model in the visible portion of the clipping plane. For example, we can reshape the walls on the first floor of our building. The clipping plane does not affect guidelines or on-screen controls. So if I create a box on the first floor, I can still edit the controls above the clipping plane. It should be noted that you can't pick objects or parts of objects that are not visible. Likewise, snapping does not work on the portions that are cut away. 
The last thing we would like to mention is that clipping planes are included in scenes by default. This is a quick way to link a clipping plane with a specific view. For example, make a clipping plane active in the clipping planes palette, such as the one we have right now. Save the desired view in the Views palette. Then save the current scene in your Scenes palette. Now turn off the saved scene and the clipping plane. Then change your view. Later on while you're working in your project, simply click on the scene to make it active. Notice that the clipping plane and the view that were saved in the scene are automatically recalled. It should be noted that clipping planes can be excluded from a saved scene if desired. Simply click on the Options button and choose Edit. Deselect the clipping plane item in the Scene Options dialog and the active cutting planes are ignored for your saved scene. Concluding, you should find the live clipping planes a very useful and valuable tool in creating and visualizing your model. This concludes the clipping planes tutorial.